Alright, hey guys. Um, it's that time in my YouTube evolution career um, that I give back something to the community because a lot of the stuff that I learned vocally was off of YouTube and we've seen some a lot of horrendous videos, terrible videos and a few gems. Um, mostly inspiration and stuff like that. But um, I'm gonna, this is like a little, not a le yeah, kind of like a lesson kind of thing. Um, but I'm gonna try to cover things that I haven't seen yet. I mean, obviously, you know, you've probably seen like about 1,600 of these videos and they're all drink your water, use your diaphragm. I'm not gonna go over that stuff. I'm gonna try to cover some things that I haven't seen so far and I seem to have kind of figured out along the way. Um, the first things first is you're probably looking at all these terms like oil fry scream, false chords, death chords, death. I don't know, it doesn't matter. And you're probably deciding, oh, which one's better for me? Like, what do I want to do? Um, it depends. Depends on the kind of music you want to do. It depends on the kind of, of voice you have. First of all, um, if you want to do like screamo kind of stuff, like metalcore, you're probably better off with fry. So you want to stick to those higher, higher ranges, stuff like that. If you want to do more like um, White Chapel, Lamb of God kind of stuff, like deep, dirty, like I'm a monster kind of thing. You, you probably want to go with the false chords. What do you want? Yeah, okay, that's cool. Sorry, my sister's just informing me that SpongeBob is on, and it's a holy ritual that we must watch SpongeBob and indulge. Anyways, as I was saying, um, yes, but it's not not only not only to do with the musical style you want to go with. You want to um, um, understand whether your whether your voice is a a baritone, I think, yeah, mine's a baritone, I'm, I'm, I think, I'm not familiar with the terminology, you should ask a real singer, um, but basically if your voice is pretty high, if it's like up there, like a kind of, more like a girly voice, or if you are a girl, uh, you probably want to go with the fries, um, if you're a baritone or lower, if, you're, if your voice is low, kind of lower than mine, definitely, maybe a bit higher than mine, um, you probably want to go with the false chords or the thing, the thing that I do. I don't know exactly what they're called, but um, I started out with fry screaming, and I thought it, I just needed more and more and more practice. And I got pretty good at it, but it wasn't it wasn't the best thing I could do. So my fry scream sounded like this is what my fry scream sounds like. And it's kind of it's kind of she, right? Like, uh, I mean, that's with that was with a lot of practice. It took me a long time to do that. Um, and I thought, oh, maybe I just need a better PA system. Maybe I just need a better mic. Maybe this, this, this. Um, fry scream is definitely for the higher bitches, women, girls. Um, now that is not to say that if you're a guy, you're a pussy. If you do fry screams, it just means you want to do something that's a little more technical. You want your pitch control. It's better pitch control, definitely. You can be like, and stuff like that. Um, but you're not going to get the power if you're if you're a, if you're a, a baritone. You want to stick with the false false chords or whatever the hell they're called. The ones that go, you want to stick with false chords. They give you more power. You can scare people without a mic. Um, yeah, basically that's it. Uh, you might be wondering, oh, how do I do this? There's no instructional videos for this because with the fry screen, there's a whole over the pencil technique. <laughs> but um, with this, it's it's such a feeling. It's not something that can be really taught. Um, I can only give you tips on how to learn it faster. What you also have to understand is that you're gonna come across all these videos that say. Oh, if it hurts, then stop. Uh, it's true. If it does hurt, you should stop. You should kind of change what you're doing. But it doesn't mean just give up. Like, that's it. Push through it a bit because your mind instinctively knows what's good for you and what's not. And as soon as you do the good thing, it's going to learn how to it's going to learn how to do the thing that doesn't hurt. And um, it's going to stop doing the thing that hurts. Like, when I do this, it doesn't hurt anymore at all. And at first, at first, most of the time it would hurt, and then it 
hurt less of the time, then it hurt 50% of the time, and then it hurt 30% of the time, then it only hurts sometimes, like when I do the highs, and now it doesn't hurt at all. Like, I could do it for hours and it doesn't hurt. I just be like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, stuff like that. Um, it doesn't do anything. I just drink my water and I'm fine. Um, what else? With the technique I use, which what really helps, and I haven't seen this in any of the videos, is make faces. You might feel stupid at first, but it's metal, it's supposed to be brutal and shit and whatever. So make your, like, if you see that people don't do that for no reason. They don't do that just for show. It gets you, it gets you in a certain mindset that you need for this. For fry screaming, it's a lot more technical and you don't need as much soul. It's, it's more, it's more precision control. This, you need, you need to feel it. You need to be in it. So, um, What's a what's a what's a good line? Give me a good line. When you make your peace with God, I wage war with the rest of the world. Like you gotta get into it and understand your lyrics, cause those help a lot. Like sometimes they're stupid lyrics and you fucking hate them, but you love the song. But try to get into them. They're they're there to help you. It's there to it's it's uh it's an emotive expression kind of thing. It's not, it's not like regular singing where you hit specific pitches. It's, it's a pure primal emotion that you're trying to feel. So make those faces. It helps a lot. Another thing that I just remembered, I'm just remembering these things as I go along. Um, when you're practicing this, this will help you get over that stage where it kind of hurts at the beginning when you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Cause you're definitely gonna sound like a retard at first. Everyone sounds like a moron at first. Um, see this, call this the pit of the neck. This helped me, I don't know why. Stick your hand on your chest, put your put your finger on the pit of your neck, kind of pull down, not too hard obviously. And when you do your scream, when you do your roar or whatever, you wanna imagine like the roar is going through your spine. You wanna stick it as far back as possible. You don't wanna let it touch your hand or your finger your finger is the farthest place you want. You want it to pass by by going as far away from your finger as possible. So you don't want this. Wait, I don't even know how to do it wrong anymore. Okay, anyways, you want you want it to go around. So if I if you if you want to visualize it in a C shape kind of form like when you make your peace with God kind of push it back. I don't know how to explain it. It's impossible. I'm trying to explain the unexplainable. Oh, what else is there? Oh, so throwing, throwing shouts on. This took me a long time, and I'm still kind of figuring it out, so don't take my word 100% on it. Uh, this is throwing clean vocals onto it, so I'm an awful singer. But if you were going to see, when you make your peace with God, right? So there's the clean. You do the clean and then do the dirty. One, 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 one. Then do the dirty, do the completely dirty, do the clean, do the completely dirty, do the clean, and then start slowly mixing them. Don't try it, try it all at once. It's still in a learning process. So, no. One, 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 one. So, also, um, there's, um, I don't know what this is called, but it's a, it's another technique. It's kind of like a dirty kind of singing. You'll hear it from, um, people like Janis Joplin and stuff like, I might sound like a fucking idiot for saying that, but it's a style of singing where it goes, Wah! for that, you just want, feel like you're taking a shit, like, oh my God, I'm going to fucking take a shit, like, make that kind of sound. Um, so you do that, and that'll help you with your transition from your cleans to your dirties, and you know, run, run, run. You do stuff like that. Um, let's see what else is there. Most people do. Oh yeah. Um, when you're doing long verses, choruses, anything. And you need to take a breath and you need a lot of air quickly. Stick uh 
stick your tongue on the roof of your mouth and inhale. <laughs> Lungs full, diaphragm full, everything's gonna be full in like a fraction of a second and you can keep going. Um, you wanna breathe a lot, don't forget to breathe. Like, I know it sounds stupid, but a lot of times I forget to breathe and then get lightheaded, especially in like long courses and things like that. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you're also wondering how to get the, that dirty kind of crunch on, like, like the difference between I don't know how it's done. I, I just squeeze more around here, um, maybe change my mouth. I have no fucking clue. It just kind of happens. A lot of these things just kind of happen. You got to feel them. Um, it's, it's maybe 5, 10% knowing and 90% feeling. The point I'm trying to get across is do stuff, do, sing, roar. Fucking, you're gonna sound like a dumbass if there's someone criticizing you about it. Who the fuck cares? Like, how many times did they criticize you about, uh, you're listening to your most most brutal fucking aborted album or or you're listening to your Lamb of God or your fucking Pantera or your Fit for an Autopsy or whatever and people are like, oh, that's not music, man. That's, that's just noise. That's just noise. And They're going to do the same thing for, for, for when you're screaming. So if you can put up with it when they're commenting on your music, why can't you put it up with it? when you're doing it, when you're vocalizing. Um, yeah, that's about all I have. Everything else you can find in the other thousands of videos on YouTube that'll tell you to use your diaphragm, scream over the pencil, uh, make pterodactyl noises, use your diaphragm some more, drink a lot of water, drink some honey, drink some tea, do a warm up, etc., etc. These are all good, good ideas. I'm, kind of mocking them right now just because they get repeated over and over again but there you go that's what I have to offer to you I'm done my dues are paid I haven't stolen anything from the wonderful internet if I come up with anything more I shall share it with the rest of the world thank you for watching